and welcome back to Moss Tree Village. I am Mayor Siri in my adorable little chef outfit. And I just actually had a really adorable conversation with Tabby over here who wanted me to bring her a blue marlin. And I felt so bad because we are still at the early stages of being a mayor of our brand new Animal Crossing New Leaf Village. So I don't have a fishing rod. I only have my, my little like bug net and I've got my shovel, but I don't have a fishing rod. So I'm working on that right now. Oh, and I caught a whole bunch of bugs, by the way, a whole bunch of crickets and a whole bunch of bell crickets and I found another fossil. I've been trying not to do too much without you guys, but I've just fallen in love with this village. And you guys, do you have any idea of the amazing things you can do in these villages? You can put bamboo around the place. You can put items down and make playgrounds. You can have little fields where you use special little recolor tiles to put on the ground and it can look like you're growing fields of things like a farm. It's so stunning. I stumbled onto all of these special tumblers where people were showing off their village villages and I was just blown away. It was beautiful. It was so beautiful. And fun fact, it's raining in real life and it's raining in a game and I'm just so excited because it's so pretty. Oh, okay. But anyway, I basically have learned that Animal Crossing New Leaf is so much bigger than I thought. You can do so many more things in it than I thought. You can visit other people's villages and leave gifts and I cannot wait to be able to visit some of your villages, to be able to go visit some dream towns. This is going to be fantastic. And the items that you can get, there's so many different items you can have. So I think I'm going to really, really love this. I underestimated how much I'm going to love this, even though I knew I would love Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I just wanted to let you guys know I'm so excited and I'm actually thinking about potentially setting up a little tumbler of my own to show off Moss Tree Village and our progress and growing the village because wow if you ever really want if you really love animal crossing and you really want to see something beautiful go look at the tumblers that people have dedicated to their entire village it's just so pretty and there's so many so many inspirational screenshots there so i'm totally inspired and ready to go so let's go ahead and check our mail really quickly and get onward with our mayoral duties so what do we have here in the mail let's check all right and this is from my mom. I do love my mummy. So let's see what mom has sent me. Oh dear, hang on, I forgot my stylus. Ah, come here you. No, come here. Ah, oh, you're wedged in there. Okay, got it. I'm sorry about that, you guys. All right, so let's see. If I'm gonna look at my mail, that's not my mail. Uh, here we go. And then what does this say? Read from my mom. Dear Siri, I can't help but be a bit nervous about your first solo journey. I'm sending something to help you along. I, I'll try not to worry from mom. Thank you, mom. Fun fact, my mom and I have the exact same voice. Um, so is, mom, did you send me a flower? Okay, let's see what my mom sent me. Do -do -do. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a bed. How fun. Okay, so let's go ahead. And we're going to go to sleep, or not sleep, but we'll put it in my little tent. Wonderful. My mom's looking out for me because I was just sleeping on the ground in here. But check this out. So we have our little asteroid floating in the corner. We have a palm tree put right there. And I can go ahead and put the bed down. Can I put it like right here? Let's try our best. But yeah, I was blown away. I, I mean, I knew... Can't put... No, what? There's no more room. How big is this bed? All right, let's try putting it right here then. Is it like a huge bed? Did my mom send me like just a gigantic bed? Is that what's happening here? Display. Oh my gosh. Mummy, this is not a bed for a tent. What am I going to do with this? Oh my goodness. Can I flip it? I guess I can flip it. Can I climb in it? Can I roll? Ah! <laughs> At least that's got plenty of room. All right. Well, I have a fantastic new sleek bed. Blown away by how many different items you can also get in New Leaf. I was not ready for that, you guys. I was not ready. So basically, New Leaf, I just, I, I didn't really research a lot about it before starting. I just had confidence that I was going to love it. I didn't know I was going to love it like this, 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 this much because the screenshots have me totally pumped for getting the ordinances up and going, for being able to visit your guys' places and like potentially get to leave gifts apparently. And let me know if I'm wrong about this. If you go and visit your friends, then you can actually leave a fantastic gift at their house in the form of mail, like in their town in the form of mail. Look at this, by the way, look at this. Oh my goodness, I have golden peaches. I have perfect peach tree. I already have a perfect peach tree right here. You see this? I am very proud of it. Can I take a picture of it? I think I can. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's how you take pictures. Okay, I, I have just figured out, I got an SD card to figure out how to do pictures. This is my first 3DS game. So I'm still learning like all sorts of new things, but oh, you guys, uh-oh. 
pockets are full already? That's okay, because you guys have actually taught me that there's something I can do with my peaches. I can actually, hey, don't, don't you dare. Okay, I have to drop this peach, but I can actually come into my inventory and you can stack your peaches. <gasps> Look at the cute little basket. That is a ridiculously cute basket of peaches. I could totally fall in love with that. That's just so fun. All right, but yes, I have the perfect peach tree. Oh, and there's a present floating in the background, but I don't have, I don't have the little slingshot, so we'll just have to deal with it. Yep, perfect peach tree. So I took your guys' advice and I went ahead and I planted my perfect peaches instead of selling them. And apparently if I keep these and I sell my perfect peaches um, inside, so if I sell my perfect peaches inside of somebody else's village where peaches are not the native tree, then I will get so much money, so much money, so many bells. So let's go ahead and plant our peaches actually. Let me see if I can get out my little shovel. Do I not have my little shovel equipped? Okay, we're gonna equip my little shovel and then shovel hold and then I'm gonna go ahead and plant a few more perfect peach trees I think because I think this would be a good spot for them. I don't want to block my maybe right here. Yeah, I don't want to block my river so that I'll be able to fish. But yeah, basically, what's your guys' favorite thing about Animal Crossing New Leaf if you play? Because I was totally unaware of just how many absolutely fantastic aspects of the game have been added since I played on the GameCube. And now I'm totally pumped to become a really, really great mayor. All right, and we're going to become a great mayor, firstly, by planting a whole bunch of perfect peaches. So hopefully this will go over pretty well. No, I don't want to put it right there. I want to make sure there's plenty of healthy growing room for all of my peach trees. There we go. And then we'll plant the last perfect peach. And apparently the perfect peach trees will do okay on their own for a little while. I wonder if I can actually stack these and sell these peaches faster as a result. But the perfect peach trees will produce fruit for you for a while, but eventually they will stop producing fruit. So we'll kind of look into that in the future. And who's this? We have a new villager we need to meet you guys. Caesar, is he a dog? Cause this looks like a little dog house. It's adorable. Let's check out who Caesar is. I still I have no idea who most of the villagers are. No, he is a he's a gorilla. You guys, monkeys and gorillas are some of my least favorite animals. This is going to be a very awkward encounter indeed. <clears throat> How are you doing, sir? Hey, are you from this town? I just moved to the area. Yep, most people call me Caesar, probably because that's my name. I get the feeling we're going to be good friends. Okay, nice to meet you then, Highness. Okay, well, you've got some pretty great manners. Oh, and you've got some tea. Can I have a little bit of the tea? <gasps> and is that an aloe vera plant? Okay, I do approve of a guy who has some good aloe vera plants. So, highly approve, sir. All right, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Oh, and he even waved me goodbye. All right, so I'm sure we'll get to know Caesar. You have to get over your animal biases. All right, and let's go and see if we can finish up gathering enough peaches and selling them, and we should have plenty of peaches. I actually planted a whole bunch of them when I was running around uh, the other day, catching crickets. Let's see, cheddar, so cheddar is moving in. But I did actually plant a whole bunch of peaches all over the place. Oh look, it's Big Top. Hey Big Top, I'm glad to see you're here. I hope you guys don't move out soon. When it rains all day like this, it feels like night. It's kind of a bummer, villain. So, what can I do for you? I love the rain though. You know what I'd like right now? A peach. They grow right here in Moss Tree. I love them so much. I'm drooling just thinking about them. Actually, all this drooling is getting gross. Will you get me a peach so I don't flood the town with my drool? <laughs> sure thing. I can do that for Big Top at least. Oh, that's so cool. So Big Top and I are going to sit in the rain, maybe under his umbrella, sharing a peach. So how do I give, like, how do I give them the peaches? Do you just talk to him again? Hey again, Siri. What can I help you with this time, villain? I brought it! Awesome! I've been waiting for this! Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and give him one peach. This looks like a very good peach. There you go, my friend. I wonder what happens if you give him an apple. Oh, look at us! We're being so friendly! Down the hatch! <laughs> peach snacks. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yum, sweet! That's exactly what I was craving. Oh, I should give you something, shouldn't I? <gasps> really? A scale? Uh uh, I'll try not to take that as a personal compliment or like a personal comment on weight or something like that. Thanks, Big Top. Okay, so he just gave us a scale. All right. 
So we'll try, like I said, we'll try not to take that too personal. Let's go ahead and wiggle down, splash in through the water. I want to see what my little scale looks like. And there's so many items. So yeah, I want to hear what you guys are most excited about for Animal Crossing New Leaf, like what you love to do when you play, and then what you're looking forward to, because I'm really looking forward to building the museum. Yeah, look at this. He really did give me a scale. What kind of, what kind of silly, goofy nonsense is that? I think I might sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Though it would be really fun to keep for a doctor's office, actually. It'd be fun if, like, our villagers got a cold and we needed to set up a temporary doctor office. Oh, who's this? Genji, hey! Finally, a founder. Siri, otaku. I want some new furniture now. Anything will do. If you have any kind of anything, let me know. Oh, do I ever, Genji? That's hilarious. Let's go ahead and trade this scale. What you want, otaku? I really, I wish I could get their voices better. Give me some time. Give me time. All right, so let's go ahead and give him this scale because I was just going to like stick it in storage or sell it. Though it would have been cute to keep for doctor's office. Oh, a scale. This is so great, lady bro. This is, gonna, this is going in my place as soon as I get home. Will he really do that? Oh, yeah. Reward time. Here. No way. How fun. We're doing trades already. <gasps> An Orient rug. Thank you, Genji. That is much more along my style. I mean, it'll look perfect in my tiny tent. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Being able to collect all these different items. Being able to find everything. Befriending my beloved villagers. Uh, spread on the floor. Uh, I can't lay a carpet in a tent. Place in room. All right, we'll just go ahead and leave this here then. <laughs> At least I have my carpet. <laughs> So we've already got a fancy carpet instead of a scale. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. All right. So let's see. Any more, any more peaches nearby I can gather up. Um. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> Blanc or Blanche, Blanche, Blanc. I'm gonna have to ask for pronunciation on that. Hey, how are you doing, sweetie? Our town is getting so muddy in all this rain. I don't want to be the one to clean it up. Quite so. Was there something you wanted? Quite so. Let's chat, my friend. So, this just happened. I was down on the be at the beach and saw a strange man lying in the sand. I think he's okay, but maybe you should go take a look. Quite so. <gasps> what? There's somebody laying? Okay, let's go ahead and we'll sell all of the stuff at the retail. And then we'll go check if there's somebody on the beach. I literally have no idea who that could be. So this is quite fun for me. Hello, my dear. Oh, hello. Welcome. All right, Reese, I'm going to make her younger. I made her an old lady before. Yes, can I help you? And we're going to go ahead and sell. All right, so let's go ahead and I have some delicious looking peaches, totally ready to go. And then I actually need to take the bugs and donate those to the museum. So we're going to sell all these. Is this really everything then? All right, let's see how much we could get. All right, we're getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer to being able to pay Nook and get our little shop, or get our little house built. And I'm trying to sell this seashell. I put that seashell there to see if we could be able to sell it. Bye, Reese. Oh, she's so sweet. She's so cute. All right. And then we're going to run down to the beach. Uh, I really need to take my duties as mayor more seriously, which means going ahead and collecting up all of the peaches I can find on our way there. Oh, and then the bridge is over here. Of course, what am I doing? Hopefully I can build more bridges in the future. Hopefully I can give everybody, like, lots and lots of flowers. Oh, I can't believe this is my place. I'm in charge of this place. Oh, gosh, and there's more things to dig up. Okay, we'll check on those, and we will bonk a whole bunch of rocks in a second. I'm a little bit worried. Man on the beach. Ooh. Okay, and while we're looking for the man on the beach, we're going to collect these seashells. So gathering seashells by the seashore. Oh, gosh. <laughs> on a very rainy day. You guys, this is so beautiful. This is so me too, being able just to run around, explore a town, take care of it. I, I really can't think of anything more perfect. I mean, it just, oh, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy running along the sands, flowers in my hair. So far, nobody has passed out on my beach, which is also good, unless the tide like swept him back out to sea, which is less good. Oh, this is so cute. What's this? Weird, there's nothing inside. Hmm, so there's something we could do something with in the future. All right, I don't suppose you can stack seashells, huh? Pockets are full already. Should I swamp it with something? No, 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 no. All right, well, we won't worry about that. All right, All right strange man. <gasps> Whoa, okay, this is a strange man collapsed on the beach. Lizzie, but you were my lobster. <laughs> what? 
Come on, wake up, wake up. Alpha, what? Okay, come on, sir. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get up, buddy, get up. You need to get up. Come on, you can wake up. The starfish are right-handed? No, come on, sir, come on. I can't believe how seriously unconscious I am right now. Wake up. Wake up. Do I, I need, do I need a, a watering can to like pour water on him? There's already water pouring from the sky. What do I do? Come on, buddy. Come on. Ah, uh, no. All right. It looks like I might need to go ahead and get like a watering can, I guess. So let me see if I can go find something at the little, the little nook shop. With the teensy little nooks. All right, we'll run, sell our seashells. And then we may actually dig up enough things, or not dig up, but we may have enough bells then. Oh, I can't wait to see what my little, my little village becomes. I'm so excited even if my first like, mayoral emergency has arrived. So we need to take care of this guy and see what's happening to him. All right, quick Reese, quick. All right, plenty of wonderful seashells gathered fresh from the seashore. I can promise you they're free range. So let's go ahead and sell these. So I, Gulliver, I think he does something with mail. I know a little bit about him. Oyster shell, all right, let's see how much those sell for. All right, there's everything. Oh, and I should probably start keeping some of these like as my own little museum, wouldn't that be fun? Okay, deal. You guys, look! <gasps> we have enough, we have enough to go to Nook. I'm so excited. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Bells are not as difficult to gather up as I thought they would be, so I'm really relieved about that. All right, poor Isabel. She's probably so ready for me to become a proper mayor too. Oh gosh, and there's little weeds everywhere. Let's get rid of those. Oh, and then it looks like, okay. Let's see if this is gonna be my lucky, oh it is! Okay, I'm supposed to go really fast on this. Everyone was like, Siri, don't move. Siri, you have to like make sure you don't, you don't budge away from it and you'll get more and more bells if you keep hitting it, everyone told me. Okay, I think that's all the bells I can get. Can I hit it anymore? Nope, that's it, you guys. Oh, I had no idea you could get so many bells from this. I'm so happy. All right, let's see, anything else? All right, I think that's it. So how many bells did I manage to collect there? That's definitely gonna help with the fund. Okay, put away. There's those, ooh, 5,000, or 500 bells. <gasps> 1,000 bells, no way, just from a rock. Thank you, rock. And apparently some of the rocks have gemstones in them. Oh, that's such a good idea to keep the like seashells and gemstones. And there's a little birdie. Happy birthday, Caesar. Oh my goodness, so his birthday was a couple days ago. Apparently he moved in like really recently then. So sorry about that, I didn't know it was your birthday, buddy. And then we already had that sale a little bit ago. And then, yep, I'm gonna leave the little notice about me having become the mayor. So there's that. Whoops, I went into the train station. That wasn't exactly what I meant to do, but I've heard there's like a storage spot in here. So, oh yeah, lockers. Apparently I have, yeah, look, <gasps> wow. I can start keeping things in here. So this is my locker where I can like leave things as a storage spot. That's gonna be fantastic. Thank you so much for letting me know about that, you guys. But all right, let's go ahead and see if we have a watering can that we can go buy. Because I, I guess that is what would work if we pour it on Gulliver. I'm really worried about him. I know he's gonna be okay. He's gotta be okay, but I'm still slightly concerned. So let's come to Nookling Junction. It's so cute. All right, not to mention if I could get my hands. Oh no, those are the same things I had last time. Are they not gonna sell anything new? How am I gonna get a fishing rod and a watering can? All right, all right, little Nickling, we need to talk about this. Timmy, today's my way day to watch the store. If you need my younger brother, Tommy, please come by on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Sunday. Oh, how can I help you? Um, hmm, all right. I'm okay, little guy, hmm. Well, it looks like they only sell a shovel and they only sell a fishing net, uh, or, or excuse me, a bug net, but what is this? This does have my eye, a complex machine, a fine item for a lot of fine money. I'm, I'm good about that, thank you, little one. All right, so it doesn't look like I have any ability to wake Gulliver up just yet, unfortunately. Hmm, so I'll have to check on that. I guess I'll have to see how I can help him out next time. Uh, I guess the only thing, oh wait, maybe if I come in here, will it mention like Gulliver if I come inside? I think he had something to do with mail. Excuse me, ma'am. Pelly, welcome to the Mastery Post Office. 
What can I help you with today? Uh, ask about presents, save mail, send mail. A present? Would you like to connect to the internet and download? Oh, no thanks, I'm good, I'm good. All right, so this is where I can come and pick up my mail. And I guess you can also leave mail at other people's villages when you come and visit them, which I think is really cool. I didn't know you could do that, so that made me very excited. But all right, let's wrap up by going ahead and popping over to Nook Homes. And we're going to get our little house started. I'm so excited, and I can't believe we have an oriental rug already. How cool. Tom, Tom, I have money. Seashell money, basically, down payment. Come along, my friend. There you go, there's my 10,000 bells. You brought the money, let's have a look, hmm? Yes, yes, exactly 10,000 bells. This does make me rather happy. Very good, very good. The money makes everything official, and work on your house can begin at once. You can also choose the color of your newly built roof's home. So which color will it be, hmm? Green, green, green all the way, I love green. So you would like a green roof, hmm? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, got it. I will make sure your house is ready when you go by tomorrow morning. What else to tell you? Oh, yes, yes, of course. I must tell you about the home remodeling. Once your house is finished, I can help you update the exterior. The exterior of your house consists of things on the outside, such as the roof, door, and fence. Every day I will display new samples here for you to look through, so you should come when you've grown curious. Well, for the moment you must be looking forward to tomorrow, yes? Thanks so much. All right, so I'm gonna have my new house by tomorrow. That's so exciting, you guys. Ah, dun dun. All right, the down payment. I'll have my new house tomorrow, which is really wonderful. I'm happy about that. I'll have to figure out what I can do to help Gulliver with. And I'm gonna go ahead and submit my new discoveries of the two bugs. I'm pretty sure I haven't given these bugs to Blathers just yet, but I'm gonna give my bugs to Blathers and then I'm going to give them our little fossil too. Let me go ahead and give them the fossil really really quickly because putting the museum together is actually a huge... Oh, I need to like... Ah, oh, that's right. I need to have them assess the fossil first. All right, let's try donating these first. So let's see. Does he need either of these? Yes. All right. So he's going to take the two crickets. Wonderful. So the cricket and the bell cricket. There we go. He's going to get the cricket and the bell cricket put away. And we're going to go ahead and assess the fossil. So, oh man, how cool would it be to be able to just like have an exhibit day where I could just show off a whole bunch of our fossils free range in the village and you guys could come and check them out if you wanted to. That would be so fun. Or even to have like an exhibit time where you guys could exhibit some of the things you'd like. Oh yeah, of course I'm going to donate it. Woohoo! You could exhibit some of the things that you really like as like a personal museum setup. So it wasn't just the stuff that could come in the museum. It could be stuff like... Uh, almost like an art festival. That would be so fun to have with you guys where we could do like a little theme and then we could visit different people's villages and it could be like and so-and-so is showing off this aspect of the art competition and so-and-so is showing off this aspect. There's so many community things you can do that I didn't expect and I'm really looking forward to and now I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that passed out pelican and we're going to have our house tomorrow. I'm so happy. All right, so I'm going to go collect more peaches and make sure that we have plenty of bells and money and fun Coming, funds coming in and then I will see you guys next time. Oh, we're gonna have a house. I'm so excited with the green roof Perfect. Now all we just need is a whole bunch of plants and lots of flowers. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye You guys I just found it. I had to show you really quickly I was just gathering up a few more of the peaches so we can have some more bells and I found the gemstone rock <gasps> Look how pretty I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I found a sapphire you guys I found a sapphire fire oh my gosh i cannot wait i cannot wait to show this off inside of my tent but yeah don't worry you guys aren't missing too much i am just going around i figured out how to use uh, my little d-pad so i can put all of the equipment in and out faster i've been planting some more peach trees hither and thither and basically just trying to make it so that we will be ready and prepared to be able to spin the bells left and right oop, 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 oop. and i actually caught a uh do, do, do. we'll go ahead and drop this right now and i caught a rice grasshopper that I will be able to take and donate oh my gosh to the museum later so yeah I'm trying not to do too much without you guys but it's just the it's just the basics of collecting up some of our delicious peaches and basically we're turning our town into like a peach farm maybe I should start hosting community classes on like how to make delicious peach jam and really put Moss Tree Village on the map so oh my gosh peach jam would be so fun
So it's just a beautiful rainy day in Moss Tree Village and I think I've collected up everything we can do for now and I will see you guys next time when we have our new house. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.